An investment summary report in iBank is an excellent way to analyze the performance of your investments. This video will show you how to generate and interpret one of these reports. To create an investment summary report, click the plus button at the bottom of the source list and choose Add Report. Choose Investment Summary from the list. Also on this list is the Portfolio Summary Report, another separate resource for reviewing the securities you hold. Click Next. You can limit this report to specific accounts by checking or unchecking the accounts from this list. Click Next. Choose the date range you'd like in the report. On the next page, name the report and choose the currency. By changing the currency setting, all figures displayed on the report will be converted to the chosen currency using iBank's current exchange rates. Click Next. Your report is now set up iBank will generate the report, and it now appears in the source list. You can edit report settings at any time by double-clicking the report in the source list. At the top is a table detailing your investment gains and losses during the time period covered by the report. In the Activity column, you will see line items for short and long-term realized gains, short and long-term unrealized gains, and security income, like dividends, interest, return of capital, and capital gains distributions. The Amount column shows the total for each item. Click on one of the three sections of this table to drill down and view detailed information about that section. Use the arrow buttons below the report to navigate back and forth as you drill down into the report details. Realized Short and Long-Term Capital Gains is a table detailing the gains and losses from investments you sold within the report's time frame. Unrealized Gains is a table detailing the estimated gains and losses from investments you currently hold as of the report's end date. Only shares held in accounts that are included in the report are counted. This table represents the market value of the shares you currently hold in your portfolio. Security Income Detail is a table detailing your security income transactions, including dividends, interest income, return of capital, and capital gains distributions, short and long term. Below the Capital Gains table is a written description of a few trends that are apparent in your investment data. iBank tells you how much income has been generated by your investments over the report's time frame, your total realized gain or loss, and the total unrealized gain or loss from the investments you currently hold. Next, there are two pie charts. They show the shares you currently hold. The chart on the left shows a breakdown of the shares by security type. In my case, most of my money is in stocks, another large portion is in precious metals, and a small slice is in an exchange-traded fund. The chart on the right shows a breakdown by risk level. Each pie slice represents the total market value of the shares of a particular type or risk, and the slices are drawn proportionally so you can see which types of securities are worth more. Below each chart is a key that shows which colors correspond to which types and risks, and the total value of each slice. Mouse over any item to highlight the corresponding slice in the pie chart above. Click on any pie slice to view a detailed holdings report for the shares that make up that slice. Next is a bar chart depicting your net worth over time. Each bar represents the total value of your accounts at a fixed point in time. Assets are drawn above the horizontal axis and consist of cash, money you have on hand, and securities, the value of the shares you own. Liabilities are drawn below the axis and consist of cash you owe and securities you owe, for example, from a short sale. The black line that is drawn over the bars indicates your total net worth over time. Click on a bar to view a detailed balance sheet report for the date it represents. Finally, the report includes a table detailing the return on your investment for each investment account over the report's time frame. The bottom row shows you the total amount invested, the total amount earned from the transactions, and the total return on your investments, expressed as a percentage. Clicking on an item will drill down and show the return on investment detail a list of investment transactions that fall within the report's date range in chronological order, grouped by account and security. Return on Investment, or ROI, factors all the capital gains measures together into one summary figure, realized, unrealized, and other income. For more information on this topic, view the Investment Summary Report section in the iBank Help Documents.